Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this tutorial I will explain the statements that can be used in the body of a PL SQL program. PL SQL programs are often referred to as PL SQL blocks. We'll concentrate on how to display content on the screen as well as the use of the assignment operator. Here are some guidelines about the body of a PL SQL block. Firstly, every PL SQL program that you write must have a body. The body begins with the keyword begin and ends with the word end. The word begin does not have a semicolon after it. However, the word end is followed by a semicolon. Between the begin and the end, you should have at least one executable statement. Each statement in the body is to be terminated with a semicolon. After the end keyword, you will specify a forward slash as the first character on a new line to indicate the termination of the block. The first type of executable statement that we'll look at is the DBMS output line statement. This statement is really what is called as an Oracle supplied packaged procedure. However, at this time, it's too early to explain what a packaged procedure is, so we'll simply understand it as a way to display strings on the screen. What you want to display should be enclosed in single quotes. If you are displaying the contents of a variable, you will not include the single quotes. If you want to combine the contents of a variable with a string, you can use a concatenation operator, which is a double pipe. If you want to display the value of a variable that is not of character type, use the toChar function to convert it to character, although this might not be necessary in all cases. On this slide are three examples of the use of the DBMS output line statement. The first example displays the words Hello World on the screen. The words hello world are enclosed in single quotes. In the second example, a variable called ename is being declared. It is being assigned an initial value of SID. In the body of the program, the DBMS output line statement displays the value of the variable ename. Notice ename is not enclosed in single quotes. The output of that program is the name SID. In the third example, a variable called vSalary is being declared. It is initialized with a value of 4500 during declaration. In the body of the program, the DBMS output line statement is, is displaying the value of the variable vSalary. Notice the use of the toChar function to convert the numeric value to a string. Although this is not mandatory in this example, it's a good programming practice to use the toChar function when displaying uh, va variables which are of a non-character type. Here are two more examples of the use of the DBMS output. In the example 4, a variable called ename is being declared with an initial value of SID. In the body of the program, the DBMS output line statement appears. The string the name is is being combined or concatenated with the value of the variable ename. The concatenation operator is the double pipe symbol. In example 5, a similar program is uh, displayed except that a numeric variable is being declared called vSalary with an initial value of 4500. The DBMS output line statement displays the string the salary is along with the contents of the variable vSalary. The toChar function converts the value to a character string so that the concatenation between the strings can happen. When discussing initialization of a variable with values during declaration, I introduced you to the assignment operator. The assignment operator in PL SQL is the colon followed by the equal sign and it's used to assign a value to a variable. When used in the body of a program, it is typically used as variable name followed by assignment operator followed by a value or an expression. In the example, a variable called vSalary is declared in the declaration section. 
in the body, an assignment state statement stores the value 3900 into the variable V salary. This is then followed by a statement that displays a string that reads as the salary is followed by the value contained in the variable V salary. The output of the PLSQL block is the salary is 3900. In this tutorial, I introduced you to the body of a PLSQL block. We looked at some simple programs containing the DBMS output line statement and the assignment statement. In my next few tutorials, I'll keep building on the body of the program. We learn many different types of statements that can be written in the body. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles, you can look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.